here comes the bus. Daphne, could you just say a word about where we're going? <laughs> where we are and where we're going. Hi, we just come from the chai stand, which is excellent ginger chai. And we're now just going across the street to our local breakfast place. The um, daughter is here. I'm glad because she's so beautiful. So they make some idli here, some vada, and puri. This is a husband and wife team. She's making idli right now. It's like a kind of dumpling, you could say. It's made from a fermented rice batter. There it is. And then put, and then it's steamed in a big pot like this. And then it comes out. Well, I'll show you how it comes out in a moment. Okay. Hey, I made a cameo. That's me. She's sitting on my head. Okay. She's got set up over here. This puri. Am I there? Yeah. Hello. She's making dosa, right? She's going to put these dough, flattened dough things into the oil and make puri. Hi. Yes. I, I put it on you now. <laughs> what is your name? Idivia. Idivia. Nice. Thank you. This is the hand washing area. Daphne, what would you have to say is your favorite? Uh, Indian breakfast is all very good. Hmm. And what have you chosen today? I think I'm having dosa, which is a fermented flour. It's kind of like a pancake, but it's fermented rice flour. It's also a pancake. There's also idli, which is also very good. And then there's puri, which are deliciously decadent. Yes. That's what I've, that's what I've opted for today. So this is a dosa with tomato chutney, which is very good, which also has ginger in here. And I think this is peanut chutney or groundnut chutney, which is really good. Okay, bon appetit. And this is the puri. So good. So good. I'm about to eat it. Here's the idli pot. You can see it. The idlis are getting steamed. When the dough says, puri. 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 So, idli is like a southern Indian mainstay. And that is how it's done. Mm, this gentleman is eating some vada and... I don't know what else. Thank you. In India, water is... You can share the vessel from which water is being, um, you know, drank? Drink? What the heck? Okay, I just forgot that word. Drunk? Oh man. Okay. You, uh, in India, oftentimes they share it. You just gave him this thing of water. And because your mouth doesn't actually touch it, everyone drinks from the same one. Which is kind of sweet. Until the Westerner comes and goobs it up with their mouth. This has been a little introduction, maybe for some to a street side uh, food joint. It's at the risk of, of being criticized for being unhygienic. But we eat here. And look at us. I think this is a hygienic place actually. Compared to some.
You've never been sick here, right? Actually, I don't think I've really ever been sick from food in India. What do you think actually makes people sick? I don't know, is that a loaded question? Okay, never mind. Do you have any thoughts on why people get sick or fears around sickness and eating in India? Some water sources probably are a little dubious, but it depends. Use your intuition if something tells you, but don't compare it to the West. Yeah. yeah. Just use your intuition. If something says, oh, let's not stop here, then don't stop there. Can you give an idea of the cost? I think it will be around 20 rupees, which is maybe around 20 pence. Yeah, 20 pence. Uh, 30 cents. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you, Daphne. That was fun. One, two, three, four, five. Breakdown, baby.